Hey guys, Hall Games back for another season. Guys, this is amazing. This is our second season in this uh, franchise. Hopefully you guys are all still enjoying this, um, all these games. As you can see right away, I'm just re-signing play, I'm sorry, I'm signing free agents onto my squad because we have a 73 man roster th this week one. So we're able to sign as many players as we, as we want right away to get everything going. And yeah, so it's pretty amazing. We have all the luxury room we need in order to um, sign everybody and get everybody a part of this squad. And, you know, give everyone an opportunity, especially these free agents, to see how can they impact our squad. Can they make the 53-man roster? And can they win? Or help us win a Super Bowl, which, again, is the ultimate goal by the end of the season? Because at the end of the season, by the end of the season, we want to at least have some of these players... I mean, they're going to play critical roles in games that we need to win. Must-win games will come down to a, maybe a couple of these players, and hopefully some of these players can actually win me games. As you can see, I am signing rookies. A lot of rookies I will be signing. Now, you might be like, well, why are you signing certain rookies? And it's mainly because rookies can turn into the future of this organization. Rookies can be, you know, key players that maybe one day... When down the road, when our veterans are, top, are like out of it and the veterans aren't good anymore, we can have a rookie to replace them. Now, of course, rookies are all, you know, kind of fishy, sketchy. And some players, you might be like, hey, we have this certain player and, you know, can they be something good? And, like, you know, sorry, we pick up players that maybe they suck on another team. Maybe they weren't in the right system. Maybe they don't, the offense wasn't run correctly like how I run my offense so they weren't good but then they come to our squad and they can become good so I'm trying to give everyone an opportunity best as possible there's there's never a no when it comes to signing free agents because if you don't like them or they don't play good all you gotta do is cut them it takes three seconds to cut a player if they're a free agent they won't cost you nothing to cut if they're actually a player in your squad you sign a contract of course that's a different story but if they're a free agent they cost nothing to get rid of. So that's how I'm doing this. Just picking up some free agents. Hopefully getting this team better uh, by adding new players and seeing how they can play. Uh, by the way, good news, guys. Jamal Charles is back for this preseason. He's also going to be back for the regular season. Eric Berry is going to be, be back. And everyone else that was injured will be back. And we will have them ready for the uh, regular season. So hopefully we're going to get back into the swing of things. We're going to, you know, fight hard. We're going to have all of our players back. You don't, guys, you don't understand how terrible it was to start this last year without Jamal Charles, without a couple key players, and have to, you know, fight the year and not, like, you know, not be able to rely on playmakers like Jamal Charles. We're just looking for some quarterbacks right now, you know, see if we can find any Good ones. Now, of course, we do have a good, a really good one we have currently. But we will sign a punter too. You know, just, just a backup punter. I don't, I think we actually don't even have a punter. So, you know, we'll just sign one. Just get him on the squad. See how he plays. Like I said before, everyone gets a chance. If you play good in preseason, there's only 53 men we can keep. But you definitely will go spot on the squad if you play good in preseason and we can um, use you. If you're useful to the squad, you're going to be on the squad. That's how I mainly look at it. If I can, if you can be a way, if you can be used to win a game, you will be on the squad. So that's how I'm going to look at it. That's how I'm going to be. I mean, at the end of the day, it now comes down to we need to win. Winning, I know they say winning isn't everything, but if you don't win, then you're not going to do anything with your uh, you know, franchise. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Like for more videos. If you did like this video, share it with a friend. Whole game, signing out. Peace. Give it to me, baby. See ya.